Hello, and welcome back to This Week at Endicott. I'm Andrew O'Connor. And I'm Mac Wiwasi. Let's take a look at what's happening this week at Endicott. This week is Random Acts of Kindness Week. All day Tuesday, stop by Lower Callahan or remotely volunteer for all the activities to spread kindness around our community. Check your Blue Buzz email for a full list of tasks to sign up. At 10 a.m., the Beverly Council on Aging Walking Club will be at Beverly High School for a walk. Head over to get some exercise of your own while connecting with some local elders. You can sign up for once, twice, or even every week if you want. Transportation can be provided. Email Dreria Rose to join. At 5 p.m., the Constellation Interfaith Ensemble will be holding their open rehearsal. All faiths are welcome. Whether you are an instrumentalist or a singer, they encourage everyone to stop by. Everyone will meet in room 151 of the Beef Hack. Send an email to the address below with any questions. Also at 5 p.m., the Interal the Intercultural Club will be hosting a special event in the honor of Black History Month and the Chinese Lunar New Year with a presentation in Library Room 122. You can also join the meeting on Zoom. You can find the link in your Blue Buzz email. At 6 p.m., check out the Chamber Ensemble open rehearsal in VPAC Room 210. Bring your instrument if you have one, but they can always help if you don't. Email Nathan Cohen with questions. Modern Band will also be holding their open rehearsal at 6 p.m. in VPAC Room 124. This group is open to both instrumentalists and singers. You can email Brian Fritzpatrick with any questions. At 8 p.m., it's Trivia Tuesday on Zoom. This week's theme is Valentine's Day. Click the link in your Blue Buzz email to join in on the fun. At 8 p.m., the River House Meal Delivery is looking for Endicott students who are interested in delivering Callahan leftovers to help in the fight against hunger. 30 minutes and a vehicle is all it takes to do your part. These deliveries will take place all week, so be sure to check what time works best for you. You can sign up for a spot through the link in your Blue Buzz. On Wednesday at 8 a.m., join Reverend Gail Cantor to receive your ashes for Ash Wednesday. Please wear a mask to this event. Then come back around 12.30 for an outdoor service given by Father Paul. Need tips on how to ace your next dance audition? Join Brianna Fallon of Regine Dance Studio at 2 p.m. in Tiana's Black Box Theater. She will be talking about her new dance studio she opened during the pandemic where her mission is to work on making small adjustments for large improvements among her dancers. You can also join over Zoom. The link to join is in your blue buzz. At 4.45, stop by Callahan to pick up a purple cookie decorating kit in honor of Relay for Life. This activity is one of the many acts of kindness that are happening throughout the week. Check your blue buzz for all the opportunities. At 5 p.m., head over to the Makerspace to learn how to make a scanner with your smartphone. Build kits will be supplies and you will be able to learn all about scanning technology and how it works with a phone camera. Sign up now through the link in your Blue Buzz email. At 7 p.m., the Event Management Organization and the American Hotel and Lodging Association are collaborating for a fun trivia night. There will be three winners that have the chance of winning a gift card from Target, Chipotle, and Dunkin'. You do not want to miss it. Sign up through the link in your Blue Buzz. Also at 7, the Goals Pause Freedom Meditation Session will be taking place over Zoom. All are welcome to take part in this stress relieving activity. Click the link in your Blue Buzz to join. At 8 p.m., the Catholic Ministry will be holding their Bible study and discussion in room 203 of the WAX. You can also join in the meeting on the Zoom through the link in your Blue Buzz. All are welcome to join. On Thursday at 5 p.m., join the Improv Ensemble in room 210 of the VPAC for a night of fun. Email Katie Clark, the theater coordinator, with any questions. At 6 p.m., the Jazz Rock Ensemble is holding their open rehearsal. They will be meeting in room 124 of the VPAC. 
Anyone who's interested is welcome to stop by and send an email to the address below with any questions. Also at 6, join in on the virtual blanket and dog toy making activity with Senior Care. Join in the Zoom call as we partner with senior citizen volunteers from Senior Care to create blankets for local homeless shelters and dog toys for local animal shelters. Supplies are limited, so be sure to reserve your spot through your Blue Buzz. Then, at 7 p.m., RC at EC is hosting a conversation over Zoom called Sex is Like Pizza. Join in for a real conversation about the ways we talk about sex and how that can set the tone for our relationship and communities as a whole. On Friday at 2 p.m., the recording studio will be having open workshops in VPAC 125 to show everyone the different equipment and that they can use. Email Owen Burkett with any questions. Also at 2 p.m., the Christian Bible Study will be hosting another meeting. You can join virtually over Zoom or in person in Halley Library 206. Everyone is welcome. The Zoom link can be found in your Blue Buzz email. Then at 6 p.m., stop by Callahan for some sweet treats on your way out of dinner, courtesy of the Student Activities Board. On Saturday, there will be restorative yoga classes held at 6.30 and 7.30 p.m. in RYT 500. Relax and rejuvenate with a class taught by Laura Ramey. Space is limited, so reserve your spot now through the link in your blue buzz. Sunday is the Frozen Flop and Beach Fire Charity event on Tupper Beach. Pick one of four charities to donate to and jump into the ocean with your friends. After that, you can warm up by the fire with s'mores. T-shirts will be given to all participants who have raised $15 or more. Sign up through the link in your blue buzz. Next Tuesday through Friday, be sure to stop by the new Gulls at Work co-working space in room 204 of the new WAX building and grab a snack. You can reserve this space for interviews, skill building, working remotely on internship, or anything related to your internship and career. Feel free to walk in any time if the space is not being used. Starting on March 1st, the Internship Center, in collaboration with the Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Task Force, will launch a pilot of a DEI mobile to prepare students for future internships. You will earn a certificate of completion to show future employers and a $25 Amazon gift card. There are only uh, 20 spots available, so sign up now through the link in your Blue Buzz email. The Student Events Committee would like your help. This is a brand new committee which will be helping to manage and curate annual high profile tradition building events for students, families, faculty, and alumni. Fill out the two minute form on your Blue Buzz about some of your favorite Endicott traditions. And now for Get Agriculture with Amy. Hello everyone and welcome back to Get Agriculture. I'm your host, Amy Couture, and today we're going to talk about when you should refrigerate your eggs. Growing up, whenever we brought our own chicken eggs home, we would leave them on the counter for a day or more before we washed them. As soon as we washed them, the eggs went right into the refrigerator. So today, I'm going to be answering the question, why is leaving unwashed eggs out for so long okay? When you wash eggs, it removes something called the bloom, which is a protective layer. Moving this layer leaves the pores in the egg open to potential new bacteria. This is why it is recommended to refrigerate washed eggs to prevent any bacterial growth. So when bringing in farm fresh eggs from the coop, it's completely fine to leave them unwashed and on your counter. You can leave them out at room temperature for up to, or to a week before you really should put them into the fridge. Although you can leave eggs out at room temperature, it does make the egg's quality decrease quicker. When the egg's quality begins to decrease, the yolk doesn't stand tall and it begins to flatten out. The egg whites also start to loosen and aren't as strong anymore. And that's all I have for you this week on Get Agriculture. I'll see you next time and have an excellent week. That's all we have for this week, Gulls. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.